Well, almost everyone is back home after several explosions force the evacuation of an entire community. Tonight, the investigation continues in Fairport Harbor. At least 15 fires reported this morning after dozens of people started smelling gas. Mark Zinni is live. He is at the scene with the latest information. Just a scary day for the folks in Fairport Harbor, Mark. Stacey and Bill, good evening. That is really putting it mildly. Just a few minutes ago, officials from Dominion East Ohio, as well as the mayor of Fairport Harbor, updated the media here in this community. Basically, they have about 80,000 feet of underground gas lines that they've been checking all throughout the day and night today. So far, they're up to about 80% of those lines checked. The bottom line tonight, this was just an overall disaster that forced people to get out of their homes. 911, station One after another. Do you see flames? Yes. Okay, get everybody out, okay? We're on our way. <laughs> the panicked calls to 911. 911, state your emergency. Yes, I have a fire at my house. It's making noise. I went down to my basement. My, my, my gas was fluttering in my house. Okay, get out of my basement. I got fire in my, in my basement. Revealing the fear in Fairport Harbor, where several homes and an apartment building caught fire Monday morning. Uh, do you know where the fire truck is? I called back five minutes ago and it's not here. Ma'am, there are multiple fires going on in Fairport Harbor. Where address are you at, please? At least 10 homes and all four units of the apartment building burned as gas continued to leak, forcing the evacuation of more than 3,000 people. There seems to be some type of a problem with the gas lines in Fairport Harbor. We have quite a few houses that have actually caught on fire. We did the best we could and grabbed the most of our stuff, the animals, all the animals that I have, and took my mother to her, to her caretakers in Painesville. They knew she'd be safe there. Monday night, Patricia Matsko couldn't be happier to be home where the space heaters can finally be shut off. A gas company employee from Dominion East Ohio checked her house and every other house in town, where more than 60 crews were out on the street restoring service. They are taking their time because they've been taking them forever just to go down this one street. I've been here for about eight hours now. So they are doing a thorough job from what I can see. I think if it was a serious enough threat that they would kept Fairport evacuated, and if they're turning the gas on now, I'm, I'm sure they wouldn't take that risk and liability. Joe Tartaglia had his gas service restored, and he's now back home, but others aren't so lucky. As demolition work gets underway on properties too badly damaged to be repaired. I'm just overwhelmed that some that nobody was hurt or killed. That's just unbelievable. Now, as of right now, no one from Dominion East Ohio appears to be denying what looks to have happened here, a case of what they call overpressurization, Bill and Stacy. That's when you have gas coming into a house at a certain rate, and basically it just ends up blasting it through the lines into the homes. The spokesman from Dominion East Ohio said they usually deal in ounces running through these lines. When they got here to Fairport Harbor today, they were talking about pounds. Again, most people, almost everyone is back in their house tonight. No one hurt, which is fantastic. Fantastic, but if anyone smells anything suspicious tonight, leave your house, call 911. All right, good advice, Mark. We have more to cover on this story. Thank you.